Systems of equations. A system of equations is a set of two or more equations. Often, if the system is simple enough, it can be solved by hand. A solution to a system of equations is a point that makes all equations simultaneously true. An example of a system of equations is the following, 3x plus 4y equals 9, and the equation y equals 3. This pair of equations has a solution at the point negative 1, 3. An example of how you might use a system of equations is the following. Write the system of equations for the following application. Three foods of the following nutritional content per ounce. Now we are given three foods, food X, food Y, and food Z. And each of these, each column of our table that we see, that is a three by three, contains the first column, the calories. So the calories for food X is 40. The calories for food Y is 200. The calories for food Z is 400. That was our first column. Our second column is protein in grams. So we have five grams of protein in food X, two grams of protein in food Y, and four grams of protein in food Z. And our last column is vitamin C in milligrams. So we have 30 milligrams of vitamin C in food X, 10 milligrams of vitamin C in food Y, and 300 milligrams of vitamin C in food Z. If a meal consisting of the three foods allows for exactly 660 calories, 25 grams of protein, and 425 milligrams of vitamin C, how many ounces of each kind of food should be used? Using this information, we can build three equations, one equaling 660 for the total number of calories, one equaling 25 grams for the protein, and one equaling 425 milligrams for the vitamin C. These are respectively 40x plus 200y plus 400z equals 660. Those are all the values for calories. 5x plus 2y plus 4z equals 25. Those are all the values for the different foods of protein. And for vitamin C, 30x plus 10y plus 300z equals 425. Again, those are all the values for vitamin C for each one of the individual foods. Now, we would need to solve this system of equations in order to determine how many ounces of each kind of food should be used. More on that coming up. Motivation for matrices. The system of equations in the previous example can be solved by hand. However, we would prefer to be able to use technology to solve the system. To be able to use technology to solve the system of equations, we're going to introduce a mathematical structure called a matrix.